Hi, I'm Blake with New Canoe, and today we're kicking off our New Canoe Custom Setup of the Week series, where we're going to be showcasing different setups, different configurations, different accessories, just really different ways to outfit and use your New Canoe kayaks. All the setups we're going to be going through over this series are going to really be built upon the open platform style design of the New Canoe decks that allow you just really infinite possibilities to, uh, to customize your kayak as you like, to reconfigure it when you want and really dial it in for whatever you're gonna be doing on any given day. Leading off the series, we're gonna focus on the Flint with a setup that's really geared towards tournament and bigger water. You may know the Flint is an awesome river kayak that's gonna be great in, in shallow water, very maneuverable, good in tight spaces, but it really excels in all types of water. It's great in lakes, it's great in the surf. Uh, you really take the Flint anywhere and do just about anything. The Flint is also a uh, full featured kayak that's at a mid-range price. You know, some of the kayaks that in the same price range are stripped down and, you know, more limited in what you can do. But the Flint really can be rigged up to do anything that just about any fishing kayak can do. So it uh, just offers a ton of potential and we're going to focus on some of that potential today. So there's a number of great benefits to this particular setup. First of all, you got a ton of tackle storage. We have 10 Plano boxes in this setup. We've got the two small boxes on the side pockets. We've got the two medium-sized boxes that fit right under the seat, and then up to six of the large uh, Plano boxes in the, in the black pack. So you're gonna have all the tackle, all the gear you need for whatever comes your way when you're out on the water. Second, you got the, um, the dashboard here that really puts everything you want in front of you, front and center, but keeps it out of your way. Very organized. Um, very easy to access by leaning forward with your hand, um, very visible, but it's not going to get in the way of your fishing. Um, and then at the end of the day, this all lifts out, so it's easy to you know, take everything out. It's all contained in one unit, so it makes getting on and off the water very simple. Uh, then with our anchoring setup, we've got the anchor wizard off the bow, the power pole off the transom, and that's going to give you this pinpoint positioning control. You can use the 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 power pole to lock yourself in, um, and then the anchor wizard to, to lock the bow, you can do it vice versa, but really it allows you to position your kayak exactly where and how you want at a moment's notice. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, once your dashboard is, is off, you lift out your black pack, you can pull off the anchor, really simple things to, you know, just in a matter of uh, seconds, take the gear off the flint, and then you're left with a kayak that's got a 63 pound hull weight, which is gonna be really easy to car top, to transport, to get to and from the water, no matter where you're launching. So those are a few of the benefits of this setup. And as you can see, even with all this gear, we still have a ton of open deck space, nothing to get in the way of your feet when you're measuring your fish, and just a lot of room to work with. All right, now let's take a close up look at everything we have installed on this flint. Starting at the bow, we have the Anchor Wizard chute with the flint uh, bow mount Anchor Wizard adapter that fits right underneath the bow handle. Then we have the new canoe hog trough. Fits right in the hog trough channel on the flint. And then the dashboard. Dashboard mounts in the bow accessory tracks and is an awesome place to secure just any sort of gear, uh, track mount devices that you want front and center. So we have this set up with the Ram Mounts X grip for your phone, a Lowrance Hook 7 uh, fish finder graph uh, with a Ram mount to hold that to the dashboard. Got the cell block underneath for the battery and managing all that cord and then the switchblade to deploy the transducer over the side of the gunnel. Really easy to get out of the way um, when you don't want it there. Working our way back into the seating area, we got the, the four tackle boxes like I mentioned earlier. We have the anchor wizard uh, crank that mounts right in the track on either side. You could also mount this up in the bow tracks, mount it off the dashboard, lots of options for where that's secured. And then we have the pinnacle seat. This seat is set up in the medium position, so you could go higher, you could go lower. It's also configured with uh, in the recumbent position. So instead of being level, it's a little bit lower in the back, creates a little bit more space in front and allows you to kind of sit back into the seat a little bit more. Then we have the black pack right behind the seat, so easy to access while you're seated in the flint. Inside we have not six, as I mentioned earlier, but five Plano boxes because one of them is a double. So no shortage of uh, space for all your tackle. So whatever happens when you're out in the water, you're gonna be prepared. We have the camera mount for your GoPro, the Visipole, Yak Attack leverage landing net, and then the micro anchor, power pole, 
that has the uh, utilizing the uh, transom motor plate to protect the transom and to secure the power pole so when you push the, uh, the pole down, it, the unit doesn't want to slide up and off the transom, keeps it very secure. That's a wrap on this sweet uh, Flint setup for tournaments in bigger water. I hope you learned a few things and have a greater appreciation for what the Flint can do. Join us tomorrow. We'll be taking a close-up look at a really killer Frontier 12 setup tandem with a motor that is going to be an awesome fishing rig.